Hi, this is Jason Fielder with the Daily Forex Report for January 17th. Currently looking at the U.S. Japanese yen pair. This particular pair moved lower, did gap just by a little bit, retraced it fairly quick, just a couple of pips worth of a gap. We are looking for this pair to continue moving sideways with a bias that is sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 91.81, possibly as low as 90.03. Look for some resistance around 91.32 and look for some support around 90.50. Okay, now switching over to the Euro USD pair. This particular pair uh, moved much lower on Friday, did close down, did gap down 24 pips. We're still looking for it to retrace that gap. I do believe we'll see that uh, hit very soon. Look for this pair to continue moving sideways with a bias, uh, slightly up but sideways as well. Look for it to potentially go as high as 145.79, possibly as low as 142.67. Look for some resistance around 144.45, and look for some support around 143.34. Okay, now the pound US dollar pair. This pair pulled back on Friday. It did break and create a new high, but did pull back to close lower. We are looking for this pair to continue uh, moving sideways over the next session, uh, possibly with a, a little bit of a bias to the upside. We are looking for it to go as high as 164.45, possibly as low as 161.19. Look for some resistance around 163.55, and look for some support around 162.07. Now, the U.S. Swiss, this particular pair closed higher. Uh, on Friday, it did break out. Uh, as we had expected, uh, we are looking for this pair to uh, continue moving sideways with bias to the upside. Look for it to potentially move as high as 1.0339, possibly as low as 1.0127. Look for some resistance around 1.0319 and look for some support around 1.0213. Now, we really don't have any significant news announcements being released for tomorrow's session. Uh, let me show you, however, what I am looking at. Go to the U.S.-Japanese yen pair on the hour time frame. Back it out just a little bit. And you can tell that overall this pair is consolidating uh, down. We have a high here. We have another high here, another high here. The general direction is pretty steep to the downside. We do have lows as well that are consistently getting higher. Uh, basically, you look for a breakout of either one of these uh, in, other, in either direction. You definitely need to be uh, aware if we get a breakout of the next level up as far as hitting resistance and look for those as targets. Same thing with uh, looking for these lows for support. If we get a breakout uh, to the downside, you need to be aware of them. So, uh, currently we're moving higher we get a breakout to the upside it could mean uh, you know several pips we are on the hour time frame so this will be overall fairly quick uh, quick trade looking to grab around 10 here maybe as high as 30 at this final level and a similar amount uh, as you move lower do try to get at least 30 pips out of this but uh, with the market consolidating down I do believe uh, in the fact that we're in a new session of the new week that we will get a breakout in one direction or the other. So definitely keep an eye on this. Well, that about wraps us up till next time. Uh, until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.